Established in 1966, the Chola Mandalam Artist Village is the largest artist commune in India. Its artists are credited for the Madras movement of art from 1950s to 80s, which brought modernism to art in South India. Set up by a group of young graduates from the School of Arts and Crafts, Madras, under the guidance of teacher KCS Panikkar, they bought a few acres of land in Injambakkam, nine kilometers away from Madras, to create a community to work and live, a radical experiment where a fusion of community living and contemporary art was tried out. It started with a handful of students building two cottages, helping local fishermen and struggling to create a bore well for water supply. The key was to help artists create art and crafts that would not only boost creativity but also create a means of financial viability. Panikkar gathered a group of students who decided to start this with creating batik print products which was then exhibited in Chennai. The sales proceeds help them buy their first piece of land in Injang Bakkam. Soon they developed products like textiles, handicrafts, etc. which were commercially profitable. Thus they could invest in the village infrastructure. artists could pursue their own paths free from a typical 10 to 5 working atmosphere and yet bond together as a community. They evolved their own styles as artists, taking inspiration from folklore, tribal, India, etc. Interdisciplinary arts were encouraged, with musicians, poets, theatre and dancers coming to the village to perform and interact with the artists. Thus, they were very much clued into the world and happenings around them to help them grow. The interesting community of people and openness was a great experiment that led to the village being self-sufficient by 1977. Panikkar believed that even if a handful of artists created something out of this experiment, it would be a success. And he was proved right with many of them like J. Sultan Ali, Dr. K. M. Gopal, P. S. Nandan, etc. becoming prominent. The village is still functional and the Centre for Contemporary Art still houses original works and newer works as well. <laughs>